Hi, my name is Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to use Movavi Timeline so that you can able, you're able to edit your video quickly. Now, before we begin, subscribe to my channel. You can also share it with your friends. And also go to the down, go to the description section. You'll find the download link of Movavi where you can download it. Now, let's begin. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'll just make sure I've clicked this uh, thing like a star. Then I'll come to add files. So I'm going to add files. I'm going to add these videos of mine I took. I'll just select them by pressing Ctrl A and some of these pictures of mine here. Then I'll just open like that. Then all of them will be there like that. Now, if I want to place them in the timeline, this is the timeline here, the one you want to talk about, how you can use it to edit video quickly and fast. So the first thing I'll do, I'll just double click. If you double click any video, it will just go to the timeline. I also double click, this one also go to the timeline. Also this one go to the timeline. Uh, now the timeline also i can also double click the images can also go to the timeline and the, now if you realize these videos here on the timeline uh they are in two sections this uh, down a section is the audio and this one is the video uh, section now if you want to see the whole timeline you want to zoom or uh, minimize the timeline you can just come and use this scale thing here where you can maximize and also minimize the timeline so that you can see everything clearly or you can also see you can also use this slider here to position it well you can also use this uh, slider here also to go up and down also in movavi here this the timeline is divided into parts there's this upper part which, which holds text and there's this video track if you, if you click here you see this one in all titles all text and this uh, aspect here will hold uh, videos and then we have the upper part uh, the downer part here which is will hold audio i know you i know you might ask yourself why is the audio and the video in the same place yeah you can always separate them what you'll just need to do just come here right click for you to separate audio and the video just come here right click then you just click this thing detach audio and you realize now audio has gone to its rightful timeline and also you realize the audio are also uh, come here you can also pull it up here like that you can also bring it down here like that also make it up like that so you can easily uh, go about like that you can also separate this audio yeah just come again here right click then detach audio realize the audio has gone down like that so i can easily pull it up like that and i, I can also make it maybe somewhere here like this the next thing i want to show you about the timeline also how to split audio and video there's this slider here you can use to play around and there's this preview here you can use to watch where you're going for example if i if i if i move this slider here i want to cut this place here what will i just i'll just use this aspect here called split and it will just split uh there like that i can also right click maybe i want to split this place here i can also right click here and come split it will just split uh like that there then if i want to play maybe i'll just click I'm here and can just play I'm i can also pause it like that if i want to play again i can also press the space bar in my keyboard if i'm using windows maybe the space bar in my keyboard and it will just play and pause also if you want to pause again to press again now that is that now there's another aspect here in the timeline here there's this something like an eye here you can right click it will give you more options here you can decide to select all the uh you can decide to select all the videos in the timeline like you can see here i've said i've said to select all the videos in the timeline here and they're able to move and also if i come here again maybe i want to clear the timeline i'll just come and clear track and all the things in this timeline will go away if i want them back i'll just undo now this this button here you can just click it and it will undo you can also press ctrl z it will work the same also if i come here maybe i want to hide this track you can easily hide this track so that when i'm editing it is it is not visible you can see in my preview here it is not uh, visible even if i play it is not able you're not able to see it uh, there now again i'll just come here i'll just undo Control z so that it is, becomes visible again i'll just come again right click here again now there's this thing called enable gaps if i click enable gaps which means I can now uh, put gaps in my uh, video uh, like that. I can easily have these gaps in my video. But if I come again and disable gaps, 
you see all the gaps will be will be closed also there's this aspect here enable gaps there's this shortcut for it you can click it if you close it out it means that the gas the gaps are enabled if i remove it the gaps will be closed just uh, like that now what about if i want to add more tracks in the timeline i'll just come and click this thing like a plus here you see it also it's telling me add an extra track i'll just click it then it will give me option which one do i want to add is it a video track or an audio track or a text track? let's say i want to add a video track i'll just click this one to add another track here let's say i want to add a text track I just click it will add another T here. Let's say I want to add an audio track. It will add an audio track below here. Remember, I can always use this to minimize so that I see my all. I can also use this one to slide uh, like that. Now, guys, the next thing I want to show you, uh, the next thing I want, to show, I want to put text maybe here. I'll just come to T here so that the, uh, I can put text. I'll use the most basic text here, maybe just this one here. I'll just put it there like so. You realize it has gone to the text. You realize it has gone to the T, the text uh, timeline. So I'm able to manipulate my text. I'll make sure I position this cursor of mine here so that I'm able to uh, play around with it. I'll just double click it here and it'll give me a maybe I write my name Paul. And you can see my text is just uh, there. Then I can easily position it somewhere. Maybe I can also use this hand to position it uh, like so. Maybe I'll just come here. Can easily pull it. Maybe I want it below here. Can easily. You can, I can also play around. Maybe I want to change the color of the font. Maybe I want red. I can also change the font color. You see, it is easy just like that. I can also position it. Maybe I want it here. I want it here, and or maybe other things. You can also put shadow. Can remove shadow. I can also put shadow. You can also put a background to your text like that. Maybe you want something like for uh, especially good for social media, but I don't want black. Maybe I want white. You can easily put that. I can also <laughs> make sure my background is there. Maybe and then I can position it there. Like that. Then I just apply. Then my text. If I play there. My text will be there. So, guys, that's uh, ways to play around uh, with the timeline. You can easily manipulate the timeline just uh, like that. My name is Paul. You can now. The, the next thing I, I forgot to show you uh, that this aspect here also you can use. If I want to rotate my video, I can just click here, and it will rotate. I'll just undo so that you can see. If I want to crop my video, maybe I want to crop this video here. I just come here and crop. Then maybe I just want to have a closer shot, close up shot, maybe like so, up to there like that. Then I'll just apply. I'll apply. Then you see now it has come to close up shot. If I play my video. You see, it has come very close. I think uh, then another thing which also you can do uh, here, you can also come here. This this aspect here where you can do color adjustments. I'll just double click it. I'll just make sure I position my cursor here. Uh, this slider here. If I want to contrast, auto saturate, auto white balance, and easily adjust. But if you want to adjust manually, you can also come manually here, and you can easily play around. Uh, with that but to make sure you select you see now the contrast is high the brightness is so high so you can easily play around uh, with that one like that now I'll just uh, come back to this uh, clip here maybe now this time I want to show you clip properties maybe now this time maybe I want to increase the volume of my voice when I'm talking let me just play so that you listen when I'm, I'm, I'm adding the volume Welcome to San Digital channel. Well, the volume is increasing. Teaching you tips on video editing. Yeah, you can easily also you can add the speed of the video. Maybe let me just pause. You can add the speed of the volume of uh, the video. See, it's becoming smaller. Of the video I've selected. Now let's play. You see how it plays. It's go. It will go about here. Yeah. Is a little bit faster. You can also add fade out. I want to add fade out. Let me put fade out. 
now let me come and play it yeah if you're very keen you see it is fading out slowly so you can easily fade out uh, videos just like that guys that's how to work with the timeline it is that simple and all the shortcuts uh, there uh, subscribe to my channel you can also share my channel if, also if you find value in my channel you can give it a thumbs up watch my next video here